welcome. This is yoga for kids. And we are going to do a yoga practice that's probably less than a half an hour today. Um, we did an introduction video and this is gonna look more like a yoga class. We're gonna start with some breathing. But first, I wanna make sure that you have a spot on the floor where you have room to move. You have your shoes off and you're sitting in easy pose. Sitting up tall to find your good posture. Put your hands kind of loosely on your knees. Good. I'm Jody. this is Oliver, and Maggie. And we will all be doing yoga with you today. We practiced a breathing exercise in the first video called Volcano, and we're gonna start with that right now. In yoga, in this class right now, I want you to keep your lips closed, and I want you to breathe through your nose. Placing your hands together. We call this heart center. It's right in front of your heart. We slowly inhale through the nose as we take our hands towards the sky. And as we exhale slowly out our nose, our arms match that breath. So we're gonna continue, because we continue to breathe always, right? So we're inhaling slowly up. And like a volcano erupts, and the, uh, the lava flows slowly down the sides. We inhale. And exhale. So we're going to be learning some more yoga poses today. And we're going to try to match our breath with our movement. Just like we are right now. But we have lots of different movements that we can do to match our breath. So right now our arms are down at our sides. And we're gonna change this a little bit. Just inhaling up to the side, reaching upward, turning the palms down and exhaling down. I want you to continue sitting up tall. So your spine, your backbone is tall and long. The crown of your head is up to the ceiling. Oliver, be a good example of this for us. Sit up tall. Continue to move with your breath. See how we're not moving at the same pace, but we're all moving kind of slowly. Oliver, the crown of your head, if you were wearing a crown, it's right here. This is up to the ceiling, not, not your nose. <laughs> we're gonna change this a little bit again. We're still breathing through the nose, inhaling up. Come with me, please. Palms come together as you exhale now, hands down in front of heart center. And we continue this, inhale and exhale. So we're taking control of our breathing. We're always breathing, but right now we're breathing slow and long. Our lungs are like balloons, where we're inflating them slowly and deflating them slowly. One more like this. All right, we're gonna review some of the poses that we learned in the first video, and if you didn't do it, that's okay. We'll do them slowly and you can learn them with us. First one, we're sitting in easy pose. Nice and tall through the spine. Sit up, open your chest. So Oliver, you look like this. I want you to sit up tall. And we're gonna move into owl. So the special thing about an owl is that his head turns. So we're gonna place one hand on the knee and one hand behind as we turn our heads and look behind you. Sitting up tall, continue that long, slow breath through your nose. And now we're gonna switch as we look over behind us the other way, sitting up tall. So your hand stays close to your body, Oliver. Close to your body. The one on the floor so you can remain up tall. And we're gonna come back to center. So owl was one of the poses that we learned in the last class. A lot of the yoga poses have animal names or names that have, have to do with nature in some way. We're gonna move to butterfly. A lot of you already know this. You put the bottoms of your feet together and our knees are out wide and you can hold them out wide or you can slowly flap your butterfly wings. So, butterfly, we've learned, that's an easy one. We're gonna move into flower next. So flower kind of starts like butterfly, except we're gonna lean back a little bit and we're gonna grow our petals out. And here's flower. 
Are you doing this with us at home? I hope you're trying, doing your best. So that one was called Flower. Now we move into Turtle. So this is just a review of some floor poses that we've done. So in Turtle, our feet are wider and we're gonna bring our hands under as we lean forward on this one. And you can lift your head like you're a turtle lifting its head out from its shell. And you can see the legs and arms coming out from under the shell like a turtle. Good. Now it's time to learn some new poses that also have names that have to do with nature and animals. So we are going to look like a cat next. New pose. How do we look like a cat? What's special about a cat? How about you two? Ah, a cat likes to round its back and stretch. So I'd like you to move now onto hands and knees so that we can look like a cat. Stretching and arching its back up to the ceiling while we tuck our chin down to our chest and we tuck our tailbone between our legs. There's our cat stretch. Now, we're going, I want you to make sure that your knees are under your hips so they're not next to each other. They're a little wider, good. And your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Good. So we're really paying attention to our body placement as we do these poses. So here's cat stretch. Now we're going to look like a cow. How does a cow look different? Look at Maggie. Oh, look at Oliver. So a cow's back is dipped down in the center. You see its shoulders, and you see its head up, and you see its hips up, but the center of its back is dipped down. So we are gonna put these two poses together and use our breath as we move and transition. <laughs> so cat stretch, we're gonna exhale all our air out our nose and move to that cat stretch. And then as we inhale slowly, we're gonna move into cow. So now I want you to continue slowly moving from one to the other with your breath. Continue, cat and cow. Good job, good example, sir. All right, we learned child's pose last class, and from here we just simply sit back onto our heels. And I want you to keep your arms stretched forward this time as you place your forehead on the mat. So this is a relaxation pose. So here we are in child's pose. Good. Good, good, good. Arms are forward. Arms are forward right out from your shoulders. Perfect. Front child's pose. We're gonna take an inhale and exhale. Find that breath again. This time when we inhale, we're going to come forward and put our shoulders over our wrists. Come with me guys. What? Look at my body and see if you can do what I'm doing. Good. Now look at your legs. Do we have our knees on the floor? But our knees aren't under our hips anymore. They are back further so that your hips can drop so that we have this straight line now from our knees to our shoulders. <laughs> With your wrists, look, right there. Yes, there we are. So this is plank on our knees. Good. Okay. We're gonna have flat hands, Maggie. Palms flat. Good. Now we're gonna transition from child's pose to that plank on our knees, and that's all we're doing. Slowly flowing, exhale back, inhale forward. That's all. Practicing using our breath as we move from one pose to the other. All right, there's more to learn. So we are gonna move to plank on our knees, but now we are gonna go into full plank like push-up position. So we are going to lift, so we're on our toes and we're on our hands. Nice plank, Maggie. So we wanna drop the hips so we have the straight line now from our shoulders to our ankles. So we wanna drop the hips. And make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. <laughs> yes, and you're gonna feel your tummy muscles are kicking in and are working really hard. Plank is a difficult position. So instead of holding it, we're gonna continue to learn new poses. Crocodile, hmm. We are gonna 
sink down, Oliver. Either watch me or try it with me so that the kids at home can also do this with us. Crocodile, you're gonna bend your elbows and you're gonna go down to the floor and go ahead and rest your chest down on the floor. That's crocodile. And now we're gonna learn cobra. So we're gonna push our arms straight up, leaving our legs on the floor and look forward. Not up, forward. There you go. So we're gonna put these poses together. Here we go. Push back in a child's pose. Are you listening? We're putting these poses together. We're coming forward to plank. You can stay on your knees or come to your toes as we crocodile down and then cobra. What's a cobra? Let's stay in cobra for a moment and think about it. Our hands are flat to the floor. Our chest is open and we're looking forward. Our legs are flat on the floor on cobra. Good. Cobra is a snake. So when a snake lifts its head up, that's what we look like right now. So let's continue. We're gonna exhale back to child's pose. With control. We inhale forward to plank. We exhale, sink into crocodile. And we inhale into cobra. We're gonna continue. Exhale back to child's pose. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, crocodile. Inhale, cobra. As we repeat, we learn. Continue with me. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, crocodile. Inhale, cobra. See how we move with our breaths. Continue. I'm not going to say it anymore. I want you to try to think about it and continue with your own body. It doesn't have to be perfect. I want you to just get a feel for the movement. Try to continue thinking about breathing through your nose. Even if it's not exactly as I suggested, that's okay. Continue a couple more times. Now this is feeling more like a real yoga class. Next time we push back in a child's pose, I want you to stay there. I'll wait for you here. And I want you to make it a more relaxed pose now where you're going to take a moment in child's pose with your forehead on the mat. And your arms are going to wrap alongside so that your hands come towards your ankles. And you're just going to relax right there with your forehead to the mat. There you go. That keeps your neck straight. Good. So this is a resting pose. So we're going to take a moment. Continue breathing through your nose. As you take a long, slow breath, I want you to feel your rib cage expand slowly as you inhale and slow, relax as you exhale. Continue a couple more breaths. We have more to learn. We're gonna do one more pose on the floor. There are a couple poses that we link together before we come to a stand. So from child's pose, I would like you to stretch your arms out forward again. Then we're gonna come up and find that plank position. And now down dog. If you have a dog at home, you will see them naturally lift their bottoms up into the air as they stretch. I want you to go back in a plank, lower your hips in line with your body. And then lift your hips into down dog. So let's try to use our breath as we inhale into plank and we exhale into down dog. Continue with your own breath. Remember, we're breathing through our noses. We're moving smoothly with intention every time. Let's see it, guys. Show off. Good. You're moving with your own breath. Awesome. Are we ready for some standing poses? So from down dog, please follow me. Follow me in down dog. You're going to step your feet forward, walk them forward, and then roll up. Ah, Maggie, will you please switch positions with me? Okay. Facing me, please, for now, in mountain. 
mountain and you guys face the video so they can see you please. <laughs> Good. So mountain pose, we're gonna look at our feet. They're a little bit separated, but not much. Our toes might be turned out slightly, but not much. Maggie, can you face that way for now? Face the screen, awesome. Mountain is just a standing with good posture pose. Our palms are open at the side. And we're still breathing through our noses. Our chest is open, so we have our shoulders pulled back slightly. Awesome. You can stay facing forward or possibly turn side with me. You can face either direction, but Maggie, let's not confuse them. Can you turn the other way so we're all going the same way? I think that helps them out at home. All right, some standing poses. Here we go. We are going to link our breath with the movement. We are going to inhale and sweep the arms up. We're going to put our palms together and exhale, hands to heart center. Do that again. All right, we're going to learn chair pose. We inhale up. And as we lower the hands to heart center, we're gonna sit back like we're sitting in a chair. And then we inhale, lifting tall, and exhale, sit back in your chair. Hands stay close to the body. Inhale up, exhale, hands lower center as we sit back. So I want you to wiggle your toes. As you come down into chair, I want you to lift your toes and sit back into your heels. Can you do it? What? Try to lift your toes off the mat as you sit back. Oh, it takes some balance. It's not easy. Try it with me. But don't lose control. Don't, don't uh, fall backward on me. Good. I want you to hold your chair pose with me. Right here, I want you to continue breathing. And bend your knees and sit back in your chair. Good, stay right there. Good. So we've learned a couple poses and we're going to link these together. Okay, now when we rise up, we're gonna sweep up and we're gonna sweep the arms back down. And this time we're gonna forward fold. We're hanging forward. Go ahead, stay here, hang with me. Good. I want you to release the muscles in your neck so that you're looking down at your knees as you hang forward as much as possible. Can you lean any further forward? Can you? We're trying. Okay. So this is forward fold, but we're going to move into monkey. Ah, monkey, we're gonna flatten out our backs. Can you flatten your back? Looks good, Maggie. Can you stick your butt up and flatten your back? Yours, yours is kind of rounded, like cat stretch. I want you to try to make it more like cow, actually. So I you can't lift that tail. It's okay, don't get frustrated, don't round. Keep your shoulders up and just hinge from your hips. What? That's monkey. Right there. Okay. And we forward fold, hang forward again. And now we're gonna sweep back up. Sweep back up, pull body up, palms come together and we sit into our chair pose. Ah, now we have linked some more poses. And stand in mountain. We're gonna go together, so I want you ready with me. I'm gonna switch positions with you, Oliver. <laughs> Cut out my head, that's good. All right, are we ready? We're going to do this flow together. Here we go. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, the forward fold, hanging forward. Inhale, come to monkey with a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up with the arms up to the side. Place the palms together and exhale into chair. Great, let's go again. Inhale, sweep up. This is called swan dive as we exhale and fold. Come to monkey, flat back, flatten that back, and then fold. And then come on up, reach, and 
stand and share. Let's go one more time. Inhale up. Swan dive, exhale down. Inhale the monkey. We're getting more flexible here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, it's a reverse swan dive as we come up. Palms together, exhale into chair. Good, we're gonna release from there. We learned a lot today. I want you to switch with me again. And face this way with me, guys. Great, Oliver's noticing that he is feeling more flexible. Just after folding forward a little bit, he's found some flexibility and that's so awesome. I was like this and I was like this. Look at that. I love it. It's great to notice when you practice something and you have changed your body. And that's what we're trying to do. That's really awesome. I want you to stand tall now in mountain pose. Last thing we're gonna do today in class is a balanced pose. We're gonna practice tree pose. So what I want you to do is stay positive, keep a smile on your face. That's what I want. We're gonna place all of our weight on one leg. Let's all do this the same. Place your weight on this leg for me. And you guys at home, how about you place your weight on your right leg? At home, they're gonna place their weight on their right leg. Good. As we stay tall and have a nice calm breath through your nose, keeping our lips closed. We're gonna rotate the left knee out to the side. We're doing the opposite. Okay. As we keep our chest open and our palms open, <laughs> and we're keeping a smile on your face, that's your challenge. We are keeping positive thoughts, saying, yeah, I can do this. And even if it's right here, it's this. And you can stay here and be positive, you stay here. If you'd like to make your tree a little bit more challenging, remaining, really stable on your tree trunk. You've grown your roots into the ground, but now we're floating our branches out. They're growing out to the sides. So Oliver, what I'd like you to do is keep your left toes on the floor and now grow your branches so that you can stay strong like a tree and breathe through your nose and keep smiling. Oliver's demonstrating a windy day. <laughs> I would like you to come down with control and switch now. Your other leg is your tree trunk. Grow your roots and then turn out your right leg this time. Moving slowly. I don't want you to lift this leg up until you feel really steady and really strong. Tapping down if you need to, but with control as well. Find that control. As you grow your branches out and you keep breathing and keep smiling. This takes practice. This is one of those that if you practice every day, you will find more balance and you can feel more positive that, hey, I, I have balance. All right, placing that leg down. And to end class, one sweep upward with the arms, reach, inhale, and exhale, palms together, hands to heart center. And I thank you for joining us in our yoga practice today. Maggie, go ahead and shut off our video. We'll see you next time.